Today we're going to continue where we left off with working on the Nissan Gloria. In the last video we picked it up from Peyton's, drove it all the way home, figured out the trunk situation. It wasn't able to open or close before, but we figured it out. Here's the switch right here. When you pull it, the trunk now opens. Today I want to continue with putting some trim onto the car as well as the rear glass. I only have about 20 minutes until I have to leave to get the rear glass installed, so we'll see how far we get. Ideally I would like to install the fuel door lock because that's kind of annoying. And I was looking around in my parts bin to see if I could find that latch. This is the actuator, I think for the trunk actually. But luckily I kept my old quarter panel and on the inside it's still there. So I can see exactly how it attaches. Looks like I'm gonna to have to take off the C-clip from the metal bracket here and then push that plastic through that hole. Looks like this spring actually comes out of here, so we gotta be careful not to lose that. And then when you push in this button, you can see the ridge where the C-clip needs to sit. That is gonna be a challenge to install on the inside of the quarter panel though, especially without losing this little rod. Which way did this go? I guess it only makes sense to go this way, right? So it looks like the actuator will mount on the inside here. The rod is going to face towards the fuel door. Just gotta find the two studs that line up. Yeah. I ended up just putting the rod on there first because there was too much in the way with the whole actuator and that made it a lot easier to get this tiny C-clip on there. Well, I ended up having to pack up because it's time to leave. Unfortunately, we only had time to do that gas door and I haven't closed it yet so I can share the satisfaction with you guys. Uh-oh, does this need to be aligned? Oh, no, we're good. Sweet, one more piece to the puzzle. We are back at Omar's, although the Gloria's out front. I didn't pull it back here because there's cars in the way, but let's see if our windshield or back glass survived all winter. So far, so good. Yeah, I think we're good. We got Cisco here once again, putting in that work. He's on the glass on my 240 as well. He's also the one that removed the glass from this car. I forgot about these clips. These actually set the position of the window. It sits on it. So you kind of slide it in here. You ever see chrome on the back glass like this or not really? Yeah, you should leave the Corolla. Corollas? Yeah, I used to have some. Oh, like the 80s ones? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Because the molding, you, you see the little lip here? Yeah. It has to go in there and clip into the... Ah. Man, I don't know how this didn't break coming off, to be honest with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived at Nate's. Well, actually, last night we arrived here after we let the back glass dry for about an hour. But today is also Nate's birthday. Woo! Hey. <laughs> so we're gonna go cruise around. Tim's here as well. Happy birthday, Nate! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but we need to uncover Nate's skyline. This is a four door R32. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it in the background of some of the videos. But since we all have our four doors out, we figured it'd be fitting for Nate to finally take his skyline out. So everything is like just barely. <laughs> Gaffed away from touching it, so it'll be nice to shake the cobwebs off of this thing and throw my new plates on. You got new plates? Yeah. Oh, what? So oh, on the floor. Oh, they're upside down. Well, I guess we'll see what they are. Driving my grandma car out of here, or I guess driving the mobs to car or the mom car, however you look at it. How we looking, dog? Yeah. Dang, the back glass really makes it look like a whole car again. Should we clean this? Yes, I want to clean the glass and also put on the other tail light. This thing is so sweet. This thing is Dude, sweet. I love the chrome. Yeah, usually I'm not a fan of chrome trim, but this yeah. is the car for it. The handles, the trim. Yeah, and the they're supposed to be chrome down here, but I gave it to Andrew to restore it. It was a little scratched up. 
Oh, and I have the mirrors on the way. I can't see other side views. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Is this a nine or a 10? This one might be the... That looks like a 10, dude. 10. 19, 19 by 10 plus 25. 25. With the cap still on it? Come on. The front caps are sick too. These are AVS model T6. Tim just picked up a whole set that they're on his G35. Yay. Dude, this thing's gonna be sick on T6s. Wheels make the car, always. Yeah. Sounds good. Plate reveal to RB World spelled world. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Gotta be in Man. Damn, full service around here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that this glass was already tinted. Wow, it's a phenomenal fit. Yeah. Tim has not stopped asking me <laughs> to install this new tail light. He's like, I think I we... said it in two videos already, all right? Like... And then the, today he's like, can we just glue that corner back on? And I'm like, <laughs> lucky for you, I brought the new tail light. So let's just get that taken care of. <gasps> I love the kooky, but like this is going to complete this so nicely. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, come on, love y'all, love y'all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put any of the interior in back here, so it's all accessible. And it's just these little tabs. So freaking cool. No shot. Yeah. It's actually cool, right? right I'll, I'll hold it. it, yeah. Not that we have to worry about it breaking, but. Scratching paint is what I'm worried about. Yeah. This car's too nice. This car's too nice. Nice. See how far you can throw it. <laughs> oh. I've driven this car like twice. How is there so much dust in here already? Is this the last piece to the puzzle actually? Full effect, let's see it. Man, that's good. It's looking really good now, man. That's amazing. What a car. It's a glorious car. Except for the uh, the thing that we would always geek about. Oh, I actually gave that to Andrew to buff out. There was like a scratch in the center of the logo. Gotcha. So I was like, man, I can't put nice. the smudge logo on the brand new trunk paint. No, dude, that's good. Attention to detail is everything. Yeah, exactly. This and, car uh, is at the point where all the details matter. This guy was here scrubbing the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually. I cleaned out the gunk from in between the seal here just and it clean. was worth it yeah, because dude. that even just that makes the fit and finish that much better for real This is officially the very first place I have driven the Gloria in one piece. The hometown skate park, stomping grounds. And we were just talking earlier, we think it's funny how we all ended up in Nissan sedans and we all started out in two-door Honda. Not a bad lineup. What are you doing? Are you charging some batteries? Battery charge. Yeah, shout out to the village for supplying us power ports on there. Free electric. Yeah. It's been the taxes, man, I'm saying. There's another cool feature about these old 90s Nissan sedans. 
And actually my Integra has the same thing, but the back window rolls down and then when it nears the bottom, it actually tilts forward. Notice how it's one piece. There's no like quarter glass. That's not very common for cars today. Plus these doors are frameless. Pretty cool. Actually this trim piece looks really close. Okay, maybe not, but similar angle, similar angle. Versus like modern cars will have this glass right here. Wow, it's actually a pretty big one. Actually. But it's so cool to see this thing actually completed now. Got the correct tail lights, new glass, the trim in the back. There's two major exterior pieces I'm missing. And that is to reinstall the chrome trim here on the front windshield. But I was told that I'm going to need to pull the windshield to reinstall it. Which I'm very nervous about because it's not very likely that a windshield survives when it gets pulled. While we're on the topic of exterior, some people have commented that the grill is not a Gloria grill. And they're correct. This is actually a Cedric grill. But this is what came with my car. I'm not too sure why. Maybe someone in Japan swapped it over. It was in a small collision in the front end or something. I don't know. That is one weird oddball piece, but you'd have to know to know. No way, dude. We saw this coupe, well, this vert on the way here. Holy old, cow. Old man. Dude, he turned and looked at it. Did he really? I saw him driving. I was like, no way. Let's see if he'll talk about it. I love hearing old people talk about their. You know, if he's an original owner, like the stories behind his car. That's insane that he came here. I love your car. Huh? I love it. Oh, yeah? Are you the original owner? Yep. No way. 1993. 93? Yes. This is immaculate. Yeah. Not yours, not. That's why. Oh, man. Always in the garage. 84,000? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful car. Thanks. Yeah. 1993, original owner. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. that makes me so happy. Have a good day, man. Enjoy the sight. Rami is the plate. Wow. That was insane. What an encounter. That just doesn't happen every day. He's just cruising around. Who comes to the skate park? This is a dead end road. It's not like you would just drive down here. Maybe he saw us turning in. I don't know, but that's crazy. Not where he did it, but right before where he did it. So like, you know how you were like turning out and then he turned in? Well, well, well. <laughs> Spin move. You haven't seen this in person yet, have you? Damn. Well, yeah. Well, not since it's been done. Right. The yeah. paint, I mean. Dang, it looks so good. It's so weird to see, like, you have a car with, like, nice paint. <laughs> All right. We didn't have a single right. car with nice paint. We did wow. have one, but. Well, it did, true. More to come, that's Rip for sure. Yeah. Wow, it looks so good, though. It looks so like put together with the glass in now. Oh, it's like, definitely. It feels all official. Yeah. Well, we also put on the other tail light that's not cracked. I do need to straighten out this exhaust tip though. It's bent up from the crash. Let's load this guy up. Slide the battery in. And I already know there's going to be comments asking what chassis we run, and they are all Yokomo YD2s. Pretty fun stuff. Turn it on, put the body on. If you know, you know. What'd you wish for? You know you're at an authentic Asian restaurant when there's no silverware in sight. <laughs> Dude, I think that's an interesting tactic. I was gonna say like, what if you like, <laughs> like, oh, like try and slice Fold it? Fold it? Wait a minute. Oh, highly <laughs> effective. Oh. That was insane. <laughs> 
the master of chopsticks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Oh my god. Who you know E and Cake like this? <laughs> Other than the unfortunate loss of the front lip here on the bumper, Tim has his other struggles going on. Tim, what are your struggles tonight? <laughs> They're always headlight related. <laughs> the I same guess. side too, but your yeah, other car. But this is just, you know, unfortunately just a Nissan problem. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anything to get home without getting bothered by the police. Yes. <laughs> Legal. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Hey, any way to... Just... <laughs> Anybody keep the fans off of me, dog. That's, exactly. what, it is. That's what I was looking for. For real. Hey, I'm just glad I didn't get pulled over on the highway. Oh, I've yeah. had these wheels sitting on my shelf for just over two years now. And the only reason I didn't run them is because the specs were so weak. So I figured today I would show you the process we're going to use to rebuild them into a better spec. These are made by Weds, and they are Serbs 1. These faces are in great condition. Unfortunately, the lips do have some scratches, but it's nothing too crazy. No curb rash or anything, just probably from getting tossed around, shipping overseas and whatnot. The factory spec of this pair of wheels is 17 by 8 plus 30-ish. And plus 38 is much too weak for any of the cars that I have. So we're going to rebuild them into a more aggressive spec. And the cool thing about Wed's wheels is they're not welded from the factory. So this is actually the factory sealant. So we can split these apart without having to grind them apart. So with these being 17 by 8 plus 30, and this is how you can check by the way, you don't actually hug it over the outside of the lip, you put it on the inside where the tire would sit. And that's how you get the 8 right there, that's the width. Then the offset's a little harder to calculate, but it's from hitting the hub here, and then you get that measurement, and then you subtract it from the overall. Since these wheels are 17 by 8 plus 30-ish, I want to increase it to 17 by 9, so I increase the lip size. So I'll push this 8 over to the 9. So where the measuring tape end is now is where we're going to want the tire to sit. So I just ordered a bigger lip. These are 17 by 3, and for reference, these lips are 17 by 2. You can see there is the 2 in the midpoint. So this is a 17 inch wheel, 2 inch lip, and 6 inch barrel. You could also just do 8 minus 2 to get a 6 as well. I hope that made sense. I know it can be a little confusing, especially with calculating the offset. And if my calculations are correct, after we put these lips on, it'll be 17 by 9 plus 15, which is the perfect spec for an S chassis. Let's load these things up and bring them over to Andrews. Andrew is honestly the wheel plug at this point. He's been helping me out with wheels for a couple of years now. Yeah, I just have two. What's up, Mr. Nick? Hey, how's it going here, man? <laughs> the polishing god. There's like some scratches on it, but... Yeah. Hey, those will go away pretty good, man. Oh, we'll do that sweet. Night. Where are these ones from? Those are from the new wheels on the Gloria. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, this is going to be sweet. Yeah, I can't wait, wait, Listen on that thing. My homie Nick is the plug for polishing metal. He polished a full set of R32 GTR wheels for me. They came out mint, so I figured he'd be the perfect person to polish the lips in the Gloria. Those were the same SSR lips that Andrew gave me for free. And then Smokes welded up the low points and smoothed it out. And now Nick has the final stage, polishing them back to glass. Well, I guess the final step would be reassembly, which I guess is back to Andrew. Full circle. <laughs> we have made it to Andrew's and we've already taken apart the first wheel. So we have the lip, the face, and the barrel. We're in the process of taking apart the second one now. So the first thing we're doing is taking off the hardware. There's some studs in the back, and then I'm going to hold the face side, and he's going to get these nuts in the back. But good start. What size are these? Oh, T40. All right. We're gonna mount this onto the tire machine next because we're gonna cut off the seal. Luckily, these aren't welded, right? Nope, they're not welded. We're gonna use this razor blade. Spin around, we'll slice it. Yeah, parts you be off. Most three-piece wheels, would you say most are welded? Yeah, most of them are welded. This is actually the first time I've seen it uh, sealed like this. Oh, really? 
Yeah, I knew weds didn't weld then. Yeah. That's a good thing. Dude, it's gonna come out in one piece. One solid clump. Dude, that's a big necklace. Oh! No! It reminds me of one of those slappy stick hands. <laughs> Does this not remind you of those things with the hand on it where you like... Oh yeah! <laughs> it sticks it? Yeah. It sticks it on the wall? It's so there stretchy. It oh, is the face hugging it? There we go. <laughs> One pizza. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> So the faces fit really tightly into the lips, as you can see. <laughs> so satisfying. I didn't want to reuse the hardware so crusty, so check out this trick that Andrew has. So you stick it in a drill, not too tight, so you don't ruin the, the threads. You just spin it. What kind of Scott pad Sprite. is that? Scotch Sprite? Yeah, it's the great, great Scotch pad. Okay. And dude, oh, that was brand new. That looks brand new. That's all you gotta do, and it's. I'm gonna start doing that while he touches the rest of the uh, barrels and lips. Yeah. You have some type of spray you put on there? Is it anything mm -hmm. in particular? On here? Oh, well, on here I just use alcohol to clean. Oh, okay, okay. To clean it up. You do that to all three parts. Or just the, the uh, barrels? Just the parts that I, I worked on, but it doesn't hurt to do it there. So, you know, like, you, you get rid of any the residue because residue, you're going to put RTV on it. I'm making Mike do this part because I don't want to scratch it. Oh, man. This is the hole for the yeah. valve stem? Yeah, stem. the valve stem. Right. you got to aim it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. We did it. We're in. Wow. No <gasps> scratches. Dude, that's blanging. Oh, wow. <laughs> that lip looks way better too. Some fresh, fresh Johns. So we're torquing the wheels down now, and the torque specs are surprisingly low. What did you say the torque specs were? Uh, they go from 11 pounds to 22 pounds. So somewhere in that range. We're doing uh, 18 pounds for this one. 18 pounds. And we're gonna go in a star pattern. I see. You know what? Yeah, you don't want to go straight in a row because it could warp how it centers on the face, right? Yeah, right now, we don't want to torque it right away because we need to get that that little lip as far up as we can get it. Oh, okay. So don't torque it right away. You just got to keep going. Just tighten them kind down like evenly. Flywheel. Yeah. yeah, flywheel, there you go. You don't want these bolts coming off, I'll tell you that much. Oh. And surprisingly, you don't need to use Loctite on it. I thought you would have to, but... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tough. Now that everything is torqued to spec back on the machine here and we're gonna apply the sealant. We use the Dowsel 732 multi-purpose sealant. The RTV version. Yes sir. Yeah. This is rated for aluminum so yep. this is the best stuff to use for rebuilding three-piece wheels. From my experience. Yeah. I mean, this, this is the best. Because didn't you say like other people would seal them and it would just like rip off yeah, the, the whole sealant. The stuff that they put is usually from like Home Depot. Okay. So then when you put the tire on, the tire is usually the same radius as the lip. So right. It rips it right off. Damn. Because they're too soft. But this stuff, never had that issue before. So we should be okay. So we just laid a layer around the whole seam here, little bead. Now Andrew's got his inspection glove on. Yeah, you, yep. Go. Oh. Just trying to push it in. We'll get rid of the excess after we get a nice layer here. Man, what a nice 
nice seal. Yeah, leave me a little love note there. Bronk, baby. Although my intention with these wheels was not to put them on the Nissan Gloria, I'm starting to think these would actually match the car perfectly. But these are 17, so they would honestly fit exactly like that front wheel, which we've already determined is too small for our liking. I already have some wheels in the works for the Gloria. I'm just waiting to get the faces back from the chrome shop. And we also have a car missing from the fleet here. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, we're finally pulling the dent on my 240SX. That's going to be in the next video, and that's going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys at the frame shop. Peace.